This video was brought to you by Granger Games with games for any console and powered by Elgato Gaming. What's going on guys? Welcome to episode number 5 of the Arsenal Korean Modern FIFA 16. In the last episode we had 3 jump pack games, we beat Stoke 4-0, then beat Bayer Leverkusen 5-1, then beat Chelsea 3-0. In this episode we got 3 big games all in the way apart from the Shakhtar the next game I do believe. We also got a big game against Man City in the Capital One Cup round 3 away. Yeah, he had to be good. And then we're away to obviously real life champions Leicester. And we've got our next Champions League game against Shakhtar to at home. Yep, we are. Now the first game against Manchester City. We've got the second team lined up. Let's go. I'll get back to you guys in a moment. Okay, so I beat them 3-0. I'm going to show you all the highlights. How many? Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to show you the goals. So this one was actually... Took a while, Alex Warby, who actually came a substitute for Walcott. Score was Howler by Caballero. Look at that. Uh, oh, he was walking into the net. A bit angle there. Cap, wait. That's a better angle. Look at that. What, what a mistake by Caballero. The next goal was like, like five minutes later by Thomas Rizitsky. Again, a lovely cross from Warby and Rizitsky. Easy hitter. The Warby definitely made an impact. A good substitution by myself. And there's no wrangle here. And um, obviously Mangala again should have done better. Then obviously the um, the last goal by Miguel Arteta again another howler by Caballero. Drew had a shot, how she hits the ball. And Arteta has an easy hit at Caballero and again look at that. Caballero shows him much better with that. Absolutely disgusting. Goalkeeping by the Argentinian. I hope he's Argentinian. I think he's Argentinian. The, and that was in the game 3 0. Oh, we definitely got man the match. He made an impact. Look at that, 16 shots, 11 on target. Man City had one shot, and I was not on target. Well, good, decent game. Now got the game against Leicester away. Another interesting one. Hit the Lord. Yep. Roll up the first team again. Well, we're currently unbeaten, and we're, we can't, we've got like every single game I played this year. I think I've won. With the Arsenal, which is good. Now we've got Leicester. Not, not the easiest game, not the easiest, easiest of games, but it's an interesting game. And yeah, I'll get back to you guys in a minute. So I ended up winning that game 3 1. It's quite a bit of action, but the first goal, unfortunately, did actually come for Leicester for Christian Freaks on a free kick. Runs up, takes it, no chance of Petr Cech in the top left corner, 1 0 for Leicester. Then I immediately equalised, well, lately I've turned this late with Welbeck. Yeah, he just runs through like most of the goals that score have run through. And he just powers it into the back top top corner. Uh, and then um Darren Ramsey. We've, we've quite we've quite a spectacular goal actually. I don't know how this ended up getting in. Look at this. How did that go in? I don't really think it's done how that went in. Probably one of the softest goals ever. How did the goalkeeper not say I have no idea who the goalkeeper was? Oh was Ben Hammer. And that's a goal for Maxo Sanchez. This is, I actually love this goal. Look at this ball from Ozil. Sanchez first time sweet rocket in the back of the net. That's the second goal I'm surprised. So it was a magnificent ball from Ozil, a little sweaty. But look at it, he's absolutely blasted. It's first time. Now this isn't a high, but I should have had a penalty because the goalkeeper blatantly fouled us. Right? I tried to do around the keeper. The defender tackled, and then the goalkeeper came out and tackled it. Rugby tackle. I was like, how was I not a that's really ridiculous. Well, back up man the match as usual. And pretty much all draws there, apart from Liverpool, Aston Villa. No, literally, everything's like a 2 2 draw, 0 0. 3 2 2 draws between the Glass and Chelsea at the play, but still. Then we've got another Champions League game, press conference. I don't care about you. Well, well I don't know about the youth players at the minute, might send some of that on loan during January if I haven't, if I haven't already. And. Bad training session, damn it, Gnabry. I call you Gnabry when you get bad to score. Let's have a look at my youth players. Have I actually loaned any of, any, out, any of them out? No, I haven't. So uh, that's what I'll do during the January transfer window. Obviously, we're not there yet, but that's something I will do. When we get that stage, obviously, we've got a game coming up against Shakhtar Donetsk. They got beat Barcelona in their first game. As long as play, I don't care. Yeah, um, the, t the second team is fully fit. They're actually a lot more game time than I thought. We're going to put Ospina in goal. Because he deserves to play a bit more. I think I just left him in there after what happened pre-season. just forgot to put him back. Which is something that happens a lot. But it's kind of, it just kind of be helps. It's going to get him against Shakhtar Donetsk. 
Um, which kid do I want them playing? That's a problem. Probably, no, I actually don't know. What kid? Okay. okay, I should probably, I'm gonna to, it's gonna have to be that one because that one's like just way too wide. So yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, I'll just get back to you guys in a minute. So I ended up winning that game 4-1. Um, the first goal was by Olivier Giroud. Nice goal here, Rosicki. Um, he has a shot. Again, how I don't know what's with the goalkeepers like making the mistakes. But then Giroud, easy finish, and then he scored again just before half time. Again, he won for like Giroud. He really has like shocked me. Like in the run, the keeper, a beautiful goal. I, I like that goal. Like Giroud sh shocked me in the series. Like I, I always criticise Giroud because he kind of run. I know I keep seeing this every episode, but he he keeps proving me wrong. Oh my, like, oh my word. Then Rosicki with an, with another nice goal. In like. Takes on the keeper, and look at that! I didn't even finesse that. That was pretty. That was, that was actually pretty good there. The wrangle. Then um, Rudisky then made it four nil with easy with an easy finish. Again, those are mistakes by the defense. I don't know what they're doing. Like the keeper didn't fire far enough, and the defender didn't block it enough. Shakhtar haven't really got the best defense, but they proved that neither did we. As Nem made it four one. I I brought us being after nothing. Then put put back in. And that was a nice finish by the player there. And that was a thing, Daruga man the match. Really, really has shocked me. And Barcelona beat Leverkusen, which means us and Barcelona are now tied for a top. But I'll probably be a top of goal difference. And that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to October games against Manchester United at home, Watford away, and then Barcelona away. So three big games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Also, subscribe for you because subscribe makes you feel good and you'll never miss an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching.